Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate, and today I have another unpackaging for you. It's been a minute since I've released the video, and I wanted to kind of ease into things and do something pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'm going to be unpackaging some of the PPE products that I got from DoorDash recently. These were all free since the last time I did this they're no longer charging shipping. That's good. I, As you all know in my previous video when I unpackaged some things, I was not too happy that they were charging us shipping for it. This is a cost of doing business and I felt like DoorDash should be covering it. I'm not saying they listened to me, but maybe they listened to other people. So let's change views here, take a look at the packaging, and see what we've got. All right, so here's the DoorDash package. Let's see what I got. All right, so I want to start with this. Now, this is the uh, hand sanitizer that you get from DoorDash. I did not get this the last time. I got a bottle about that big last time. So this time I get about double and I get, uh, you know, a little pump action. That's good. Let's see. What else we got in here? Oh, the disposable masks. Uh, and again, um, these disposable masks, they're not sealed. This happened last time when I ordered masks from DoorDash. I don't know why they're sending these unsealed. I got the ones I get from Uber come sealed in the package so don't know why they're doing that and finally the reusable mask that DoorDash sends you this is a uh, 95% polyester 5% spandex of course it's non-medical and it's used to prevent dust and pollen from getting in I'll show you what that looks like on my face here in just a minute. That's it. Once again, DoorDash sends me masks that are not sealed. I don't know why they're doing this, sending you masks that aren't sealed. This kind of means somebody else touched them and put them in there. We have no proof that uh, that was done in the sanitary environment. I'm not too happy about it. We do have this reusable mask. I'm going to open that up, put it on. If you recall, DoorDash now requires all of its drivers to wear masks. And so let's see how this fits. It's got these little adjustable loops here. That's pretty neat. So let's put this thing on and see how it goes. So this is a spandex mask. Oh, it smells really chemically. Uh, it's small. It barely covers from my nose to my chin. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess this will stay on just fine. I wear glasses. There's a possibility that because of the way this is, there's no there's no wire bar in here to seal off the top. Um, the cloth inside here, the cloth inside here is very loose. You can see how loose this is. And when I inhale, it kind of sucks into my mouth if I'm inhaling with my, in fact, it's kind of like sticking in my mouth right now. I think I'm probably going to skip this mask. Maybe I'll give it to one of my kids. Um, it's, it's okay, but I really think that, uh, you know, they could provide us maybe with a, with a better mask if they're going to provide us with a reusable mask. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. If you like videos like this or other videos that will give you tips on gig work, then be sure to like this video, subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, thanks and bye. Oh, I forgot my tagline. Remember, just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.